welcome to Rick's Corner. I'm your host, Rick Drayson, and I was thinking today about a couple of things that have uh, gone through my mind over the years, and I've talked to other people tell me the same thing. And this is kind of funny because I'm sure it's happened to all of you. How many times have you looked in the mirror after working out or been working out a while, and you look in there and you say, my God, I look like I never touched a weight in my life. And you think, what did it all mean? It's like it never was there. And I've done that, and I'm sure you've done that. It depends on the day, depends on the time, depends on the mirror. Depends on a lot of things, but most it's in your head. It's just in your head. There's no way you can lose muscle overnight. It's not going to happen. But we do this to ourselves. We take a day off, two days off, and we think, oh my God, we just turned to fat, the muscle disappeared. And you convince yourself this is what happened because you see yourself and say, nothing's showing. And then you go into another mirror and another light and it looks pretty good. Some of the department stores I've found out, like for example, The Gap, they have a dressing room. The light is a fluorescent over top. Let's just say you want to put on a shirt, try it on, a pair of pants or whatever, and you go in there, you look at yourself, and you look horrible. Their mirrors and their lighting is the worst ever. You would think that a store like that would want to make you look good and put in lighting so that whoever, men or women, whoever get in there, look great in their clothing, and then they'll buy it. Um, one of their tricks is to play music because music makes you want to buy things and makes you happy, and so you, you, you end up purchasing something, but it doesn't make you happy to look at yourself if you look terrible. Their mirrors and their lighting makes you look so flat, it's ridiculous. Now, you can go out and eat some carbs the night before and get up the next morning and look at yourself and say, oh my God, I'm so fat for those carbs. This is not true. You cannot get fat overnight. It's impossible. You could hold a little water maybe, but that's not the case. Now, for the past couple of weeks, I've been, uh, I'm always good on my diet. I always eat right on the money, my meals and everything else. But at night, I've been having a little bit of ice cream. It's 110, 105 here and it's hot and the ice cream is soothing. I go to the gym the next day and I weigh myself and I lose a pound. I don't know why. I have no idea why a pound drops. It seems like I'll gain one and I'll lose two and this has been going on for quite a while um, over the past month or so and I can't get over a certain weight that I was before. Not that I really even want to. I don't want to actually. I like the weight I'm at but it doesn't budge and it doesn't matter what I eat. I had a steak last night with angel hair pasta. And then I had some Spumoni ice cream for dessert. I thought, this tastes good, it's warm, I'll have it. I go to the gym this morning, I'm a pound lighter. Now, over, well, many people tell you if you eat a lot throughout the day, like Weight Watchers, for example, that if you eat a lot of meals, you end up losing weight because you can't metabolize it all and you end up burning up more than you're taking in. And this is true in many cases. Um, I don't know why it's happening like this. I stick on the bodybuilding diet I have for years and years and years and years. And there was a time I would eat a little bit more and I'd gain weight and I'd gain weight. Now you'd think at my age I would gain weight. You'd think I would end up getting out of shape and fat, but I don't. I end up losing and I get more uh, lean, actually. So if you have this issue where you look in the mirror and you think you look like you never trained, it's very, very common. And it's funny because if you want to go to a reunion or you want to go to a party or you want to go somewhere you haven't been in a long time, and you have friends that you haven't seen in a long time and you want, to, you want them to see you just because your ego says, look, I've been training all this time. I know I look good. I'm going to put a shirt on that makes me look even better. I'm going to go there and they're going to say, oh my God, you've been working out. You look great. There's three things that happen. <clears throat> I'm sure you've experienced this. They'll come up to you and say, oh, how you doing, so-and-so? Have you lost weight? And right off the bat, you think, why? I don't look like I work out. <laughs> Or they'll walk up to you and say, you look different, have you gained weight? That's not the answer either. Or the day you go to this thing and you've been training all hard and you look great, by the time you get in your car or wherever you're taking over there and you get out of the car and you go in, you feel like you just shrunk. You feel like everything fell apart that you look forward to doing and it's not, it, your body's not showing it. I wanted to talk about this because it's just all psychological and it's, it's just part of life. And the people on the street who see you, who ask you questions about losing or gaining, they see a change, but they don't know what they see. They're, they're really oblivious to what you've actually done with yourself. You could get bigger and ripped and they'll ask you if you lost weight because they don't know. They don't know what they see. So they got to say something. And um, in your heart and your mind, you know you're in shape. So don't let those little tricks in the mirror fool you. If you come out of the shower and you look at yourself and say, oh my God, I don't look good. Or you come out, you look great. You're not going to change in a day. You're not going to change in a week. It doesn't happen. I've been training every other day for the past two weeks as you guys ask me about old school training. I've never taken every other day off ever, but I have in the past two weeks. And my workouts got better because I had those days rest in between. And then I looked in the mirror and I said, man, I see an improvement even at my age because I had those rest days. Whereas before the rest days would mean to me, oh my God, I'm losing everything. Psychological. 
anyway, I wanted to make that point. I thought it was funny. I was talking to somebody today about it. And, uh, you know, we're all, we all get that with bodybuilding. We all look at ourselves and say, where are all the gains? <laughs> However, they're there. And I know when I first started working out and I was going to YMCA and using ready-made dumbbells and barbells that weren't really the best, um, started to put on size like right away. And then people would look at you and say, are you getting fat? No, not really. I'm gaining muscle, but in a shirt, you know, you look bigger, you're filling the sleeves out, you're gaining weight. So it's not what people see. It's their response is they don't know what to say or they're jealous, one or the other. Anyway, I want to run that past you. Think about it. If it's ever happened to you, comment on here. And also, I want to tell you that Dr. Eric Fong at the Man Clinic, who is actually legally test you for testosterone replacement, is a legit guy. He's doing well, and they're popping up all over L.A. with licenses, and they're all good companies. But his happens to be really good, and that's the one I know of, and I really like him. So if you're locally and you want to see Dr. Eric Fong, he's in Woodland Hills on Ventura Boulevard. Go by and see him. He'll test your blood and he'll let you know what your levels are. And if you need it, he'll give it to you. If you don't need it, he won't. So I like this idea because it is legal and it does work. And after a certain age, you do need to replace something. Thanks for watching Rick's Corner. And remember Old School Labs. I got some good supplements. And I'll see you next time. Drayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.